Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a disappointing products video. Last time I did one of these, you guys let me know in the comments that you would like to see these more often. I'm constantly always trying out, testing out new makeup, and sometimes it doesn't always work for me. So that is what we are going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to be discussing products that just didn't work for me. Just because these products didn't work for me doesn't mean they're bad products. We're all different and we all like different things, so if you guys want to know a few products that disappointed me, then let's jump into it. Surprisingly enough, I only have like one drugstore item to share with you guys. Most of these are high-end. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be talking about is this product by Bobbi Brown. This is the Brightening Brick Powder Illuminate in the shade Pink. This is what it looks like. It just has like six different shades of pink. And I don't know if it's supposed to be a highlight, but that's what I bought it for. It's kind of like a blush topper as well. And I just did not like this. The first time I put this on my face, I was like, what is this barf of glitter that I just put all over my face? It's so glittery, which is why I don't like it. If it didn't have all those crazy micro shimmers and glitters in it, it would be a beautiful product because I really love the undertone. I love the color. It just lays on top of the skin because it has glitter and it emphasizes like pores and weird. It's just, I don't like this product. Me personally, it actually had pretty good reviews online, which is why I bought it, but it just, it personally did not work for me. Another product I was disappointed in, I'm really sad about because I had the highest of highest expectations for these because I've heard people rave about them. And it is the OCC Lip Tars. And when I saw that they came out with their Lip Tars in an amazing little packaging like this because they used to have their Lip Tars kind of like in a squeezy tube, they changed the packaging, they made them so much better. So I picked up these two colors. I got Poisier, Poser, Poser, Poser and soy latte now the colors are awesome the formula is awesome literally there is nothing bad to say about this except i cannot get over how bad they smell i'm very 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 sensitive to scents in my lipsticks i don't know why but every time i wear a lipstick that is like very chemically scented or something weird i taste it and i feel like i just swallowed poison i don't know that may be dramatic that is dramatic but i really 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 did not like the scent of these I feel like I must have gotten bad ones. I, I have to have gotten bad ones. They smell like if you walked into a warehouse and everybody was painting, but yet they were painting with rotten paint. That's what this smells like. I'd rather put on something with like a vanilla -y scent or something with no scent at all. Okay, so my next disappointing product isn't very disappointing. That doesn't make sense. It's a packaging disappointment. It is a packaging fail. So for that reason, I'm including it in this video. I will continue to use it because I love it, but the packaging is so bad, I don't understand. This is the deodorant gel by the brand Wish. Wish is a great, great brand. They sell it at Ulta. I've tried their like deodorant um, uh, wipes that you just like wipe them on and throw them away. They're really great. It's a very natural brand. And I just like them. So this is their deodorant gel with hair inhibitor. Basically this formula is not only supposed to reduce the odor, obviously like your odor, it's also supposed to reduce hair growth like over time. But I'm all for it. That's great. It has organic aloe, organic chamomile, and it's awesome. I love, I love this. But oh my gosh, <laughs> what were they thinking? I, okay, I, I had to have gotten a bad one. So basically what you're supposed to do, this is what it looks like. It has like a tiny little hole up here and my hair is a mess. I just looked in the viewfinder and realized, wow, girl, you didn't even try today, but that's okay. It has a little hole and you're supposed to turn it clockwise. It says it right here. Twist top clockwise to release product and apply a small amount to each underarm area. This squirts out product. When you try to twist this, it like, <laughs> it does not come out normally. Like, well, let me see if it does it. Dang, I got it all over my hair. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? And it scares me. Is that supposed to happen? The only way that I find that I can use this is if I turn it at the speed of a turtle. Like I have to sit here and turn it very, very slowly. And, oh, look, and not even then. It got onto my hand, it just squirted onto my hand. I'm either gonna get it into my eye, into my hair, or I have to sit there and literally turn it very slowly to get anything out. It's just so weird, but I will continue to use this because I love it. But I wanted to mention this because do any of you guys have this? 
And do any of you guys have this same problem? My next disappointing product is from a brand called Makeup Revolution, and it is their Ultra Strobe Balm. I have two colors right here. I have the shade Hypnotic, which is a like white gold with an insane yellow shift. This is a cream product. And then I also have the shade Euphoria, which is kind of like a whitish color with an insane pink shift. Now, I really like the formula of these. They're actually very blendable. They apply really nicely. I think that Makeup Revolution is a great brand, but I find these to be just a little bit unwearable. Even though they look stunning and beautiful here in the pan, the duochrome in this is just so strong that it looks almost odd on top of the cheekbones. Like this one in Hypnotic, when I apply it to the tops of my cheekbones, the yellow is so intense that I look like I have a yellow gold streak right here. And the same with Euphoria. It looks like I have a pink stripe on the top of my cheekbones, almost as if I applied blush way too high on my face. Maybe this will work for you if you have very deep skin. I think it might look really pretty on you actually, but for me, it, just, it looks weird. My next product I was a little bit disappointed in um, these are the Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Colors by Buxom. These are pretty new. They sent me three of their shades. This is one of them. This is in the shade Moonlighter. The formula on this is just not my cup of tea. I totally see this working for a lot of people, but for me, it just wasn't my favorite. This is a very moussey formula, which I typically love. Ofra has a very moussey formula, and I love it. This is a strange moussey formula. I find that on my lips, it doesn't completely set down and dry. Like there's not enough tackiness to it. I don't mind a liquid lipstick that transfers like when you kiss as long as it stays in place all day. This one doesn't. It kind of slips around and it almost stays moussey. Like it never really sets. I don't know if it's supposed to, but I find that it transfers a little bit too much and it's a little bit sloppy and it just looks kind of strange on my lips. If you are someone who hates liquid lipsticks, maybe you'll like the, this formula because it is a little bit more whipped. Okay, so moving on to a hair product. This is from the brand Oscar Blondie. This is their dry conditioner spray. It's just like a dry shampoo, only a dry conditioner. It's supposed to add shine and detangle and all that great stuff. Well, no, not for me. I don't know how, I don't know how, but I was almost shocked at how dry this made my hair. It's a dry conditioner. It's supposed to add shine and make your hair soft, but it dried out my ends. I have very, very, very dry, damaged, chemically treated hair. I had like a hair malfunction two years ago, and slowly but surely I've been getting it back to normal and back to life. So I'm obsessed with like dry conditioners and shine sprays and anything that's gonna make my hair look shiny. And this didn't do that. It's just so weird. It almost left a film over the ends of my hair and it made them like, I don't know, it says dry conditioner spray, more like just dry spray. Not a fan. I'm so sad to be talking about this because Kat Von D Beauty is like one of my favorite brands. I just, I love ever, I love Kat Von D. But this just didn't, it didn't work for me. This is the Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. I have mine in the shade Fair. I was so excited for this because I love primers that have like color to them. So they not only prime my lids, but they kind of mask the veins I have on my lids. The first time I used this, I had to take it off. I have very, very, very dry lids and a very, very, very dry under eye. It looked so dry on my lids. Like, if you saw my eyelid up close, you saw every single crack, every single crevice, every like little line I have on my lids. This totally emphasized that. And it made me so sad because it's just so convenient because it's in a pen. I definitely think that if you have oily eyelids, this might be a good thing for you. But for me personally, it emphasized everything and it made my eye area kind of look old. Let's talk about another product that disappointed me because it was just too drying. This is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is an arm and a leg. I'm in the shade SX, SX01. And I was gonna return this. I hauled this in a video and I also mentioned in that video that it wasn't my favorite. I was gonna return it and then life happened and I didn't end up returning it. But I hear people raving about this. This looks so dry on me. I don't know why and I use very little of it. Like it's very thick and I use the smallest amount and it just, em it, the lines, it emphasizes everything. It looks really dry underneath. It's not worth the money in my opinion. Okay, so I have two more products to share with you before we are finished. 
This is a very, very, very pricey lipstick. This is a YSL lipstick in the shade number 10. They're Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. I hate this. The issue I have with this lipstick is the same issue I have with the Lip Tars. I can't handle the scent. And to think, I paid like $35 for this lipstick. Uh, actually, I don't remember how much I paid. 30 or 35 And the scent, the color is beautiful, like stunning, which is why I bought it. But the scent is so overpowering. It smells very chemically to me that when I wear it, I literally smell and taste it throughout the entire day. I don't mind a lip product that once I put it on, like the scent goes away. No, 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 no. I smell this on my face the whole time. Like it's a constant scent that I'm smelling. And it's not a good one. So I wore this one time, never put it on again. It's kind of a waste of money. I just don't get the hype. I actually have the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine lipstick in the shade number eight. And these smell like delicious, like little strawberry cupcakes. I don't know. These smell really, really good. This chemical in a tube and... 100% regret buying this. Okay, so my last disappointing product is another product that I hate because it makes my under eyes look so dry. Just like the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is the Amazing Concealer Illuminate by the brand Amazing Concealer. I have been using this a lot for like the past three weeks. I've been trying to love it. I've been putting it to the test because I love anything illuminating and I've just come to the conclusion that I don't like this. Every time I wear a different concealer and it looks so good, I'm like, oh, that amazing concealer is not that great. My freaking $3 LA Girl Pro Conceal looks better than this. So when you get up close, it looks patchy. It emphasizes my under eyes. It kind of emphasizes my dark circles. It just does not look good. So I kind of regret buying this. Not my favorite. And yeah, that's it. These were products that just didn't work for me. If you guys like these videos, I will continue to do them. Give this video a thumbs up if you do. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what your most recent disappointing product was. Like something you recently discovered that didn't work for you. Maybe I'll avoid it next time. <laughs> Leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, shoesies. In my last video, I try. I. It is so insanely. Insanely. So it's why. So it's. What's that called? Hey guys, so today's. This formula is supposed to not only like reduce your or order, odor. It's but this. <laughs> hey guys, so today's video is going to be my ipsy bag unbagging. Unboxing and bagging. It's a bag unbagging.